Hello friends, it's a Master Board Monday. I know we haven't had one in a long time because I still have a whole stack of Master Boards over there and uh, I haven't cut them down. But I have all of these lovely stamps that Scarlett sent me in Happy Mail that we all saw last week. And so I want to make a Master Board. Uh, and I can chitter and chat with you about things. Uh, I'm gonna use my matte gel medium. I still can't believe that I've used, I've gone through a whole thing of matte gel medium. It's bonkers to me. It's bananas. Um, I'm using matte gel medium for this because it's not as wet as Mod Podge. And I forgot that I have a clean one of these. Haha. Uh, it's not as wet as Mod Podge. And so I'm hoping that it won't be, it won't buckle the paper as much is my hope. Ooh, this might be a little dry. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna try. So I'm just gonna get into it. I'm not even not even wasting any time. Uh, so I started looking through my channel. Um, I think I've probably said this on a few occasions. Like I don't really watch my channel analytics. You know, YouTube's like check out your analytics, and I'm like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm not here to win the YouTubes or the internets or whatever. I'm just here to make art, meet other people who make art, learn some cool art tips and techniques and things. And that's about it. I'm not, I'm not out to do anything like that. I'm not trying to become a millionaire or even a thousandaire um, on YouTube. So I don't ever look at those things. So, but I did. I was like, I was just happened to be scrolling through and I was like, you know, aside from Timu hauls, which we all know why those do so well, because uh, Timu has cool stuff and it's really hard to see all that cool stuff. And so you, uh, you want to see the hauls because then you want to see what other people have found digging around in Timu. But anyway, so aside from the Timu hauls, my Masterboard Monday videos were some of my most watched. So I thought that was cool. So I thought, well, shoot, y'all like these. Let me make some more. So, and I know I've layered this matte gel medium like a ton. I can probably calm down a little, can't I? Probably. So anyway, I wanted to do a master board out of these stamps. I don't know why I've got a little, I don't know, I've got a little dog whining over there. I'm not sure why. Um, oh, I think I need to. These are cool. These are to the IRS. So that's interesting. So anyway, so I realized that the master board videos are some of my most watched. So that's fun and exciting. Thank you. Um, and what's going on, Smallsies? She's whining about something and I don't know what, I'm not sure what's, what's going on with her. What's up, Smalls? What do you need? Okay, bye. So, I am, have also been looking around on YouTube because I've been trying to see about mass makes. I don't know if y'all have heard of this. So if you haven't, there's this whole like, I don't know, how do I describe this? It's almost kind of like a, a sub genre of junk journaling videos where people make like a ton of ephemera for their journals, which is, you know, a perfectly understandable thing to do. Um, but I didn't think about that, nor did I really, I guess, know about it until 
I made my own journal and then I was like, well, how do I fill it up with stuff? Oh, you have to do these. Well, you don't have to, but you do mass makes and then you make a bunch of tags or tickets or tuck spots, belly band, blah, blah, blah. And then you have them on hand. And then once you complete a journal, then you can use these things and you can like alter them in the theme of the journal. If you want to do a theme for your journal, you obviously don't have to. And I was like, well, this is really cool. So I started watching those videos and a lot of those videos, of course, well, a lot of YouTube videos, if you search, you get the folks who are very popular um, because that's the way the algorithm works. So then speaking of the algorithm, I started wondering, I'm like, how does this algorithm work? I mean, I kind of have a feeling that I know how it works seeing as I have worked in, uh, in tech myself, but I kind of was curious. So then I started reading blogs about YouTube and their algorithm and all of that fun stuff. And then I was like, this is a game that I'm not sure I actually want to play. Um, First off, it's a lot of work, like actual work. You have to like go and, you know, check out your competition and see, you know, what they've optimized, what keywords they've optimized around. And like, I mean, it's just, it's bananas if you ask me. I think it's bananas. Um, because I just think it's, I mean, literally tech companies pay people to do the stuff that they are expecting you to do in order if you want the views and the thing is like YouTube doesn't pay you that much for the content that you're putting on your channel so anyway so I started looking and I was like this is ridiculous this is way too much work I have no desire to do this much work so the interesting thing is a I need y'all to thumbs up the video. That is one of the major pieces that, um, maybe not that one. That's one of the major pieces of information that YouTube uses to determine where they're gonna rank your videos is the interaction. And thumbs up is the easiest. So that's the first one they go for. And then they look at comments and shares and that sort of thing. So basically, I mean, it makes sense. They're not gonna promote a video that has a lot of downvotes. So that makes sense. They're not going to promote a video that nobody's interacting with. That makes sense because they're gonna wanna promote the videos that people are interacting with because those are clearly the videos that people are enjoying. And so that's what they need to promote because they need content on their site that, you know, is engaging people. So, hang on, Hugo. Don't, don't try to leave yet, buddy. You gotta, you gotta stay there. All right, good job. So that was all really fascinating, and I was. I'm gonna quit trying to use that one because it's not, it's not working very good. So I looked around and I was just like, well, this is, this is wild. Like, you know, the game is rigged. It's, it's definitely stacked against you, me. And it is not a game that I actually think I really want to play. So anyway, what I need is I need y'all to like this video. I need you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, and I need you to comment. And those things alone, which is why everybody says, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. They say that because that's literally the only way to make all of this work. So that, you know, there's... You can use tags and SEO and all that stuff, but it's not gonna, 
It's not going to give you the results that just having people interact with your video will give you. So, so don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> but anyway, it's a uh, it's a rigged game, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not trying to play it. So. But I mean, that's how this all works, right? So long as you know what you're up against, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You just gotta know what you're up against. And then plan accordingly. Oh, I like, I like all of these postmarks. It's kind of cool. So it's a beautiful day here today. And I had to decide, am I gonna record a video or am I gonna go ride a horse right now? And I chose the video because that's just really the mood I'm in, is a very creative mood. And so here we are. Um, but as soon as I get done doing this, I'm headed outside. So if it feels like I'm going really fast, it's because I need to get outside. I wanna go ride the horses. I love my horsies. They're great. I'm going to tear this off here. Yeah, I like that. So, it almost feels fall like out there. It's it's so nice, but the sun is still warm. Fall here means that the sun is warm and the breeze is cool. Um but it's even the breeze is a little warm still, so it does feel kind of summery. So what else have I discovered? So I've been watching all these videos, which means I'm also finding these very popular folks, right? I'm finding their videos and I am, uh, I'm watching their videos, seeing if I can learn something. And, um, I think I like that better over here. And the one thing I've noticed is that there are some popular creators who kind of have an attitude, which is weird. Um, I'm not gonna name names, because look, we all have bad days. And maybe I just happened upon a video where this person was having a bad day, but I have definitely found some videos where it was almost like the creator was kind of irritated with their audience, which was interesting. Um, I don't know. I was like, well, maybe, you know, to be fair, if this is their full-time job, you know, their audience is their boss and we all get grumpy with our bosses, right? So maybe that's it. But I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I'm just me hanging out, doing a bunch of stuff. Also, this leads me to my next topic. Wow, I'm just barreling right along, aren't I? If only I could, if only I could create this fast. Uh, the other thing is, speaking of creators making a living. Um, so I know that I asked y'all before about, you know, would you be interested in a Patreon, all this stuff. And I, you know, some people actually were. They were like, yeah, that sounds cool, um, which is awesome. And it still maybe is something that I'll do in the future, but I don't think that it's something I'm going to do right now. I think I'm just going to keep making these videos, keep hanging out with y'all. I'm not trying to win the internet. So, you know, it's fine. I'll just hang out. No big deal. No big deal. So I, I think I have enough down there. I'm going to have to open my, my new... Man, I can't believe that I've gone through a whole thing of this stuff. That's wild to me. You mean I've done so much art that I've used up a whole jar of art supplies? Yes. Yes, you have. So are y'all excited for 
Halloween. Oh wow, that was a, that was a lot of yeses. I am also excited for Halloween. I just realized I can get all this stuff off of this brush. I just do that. I am also excited for Halloween. Um, I don't know that I can wait until October to start working on my nocturnal journal. I know that I said, come October, I'm working on my nocturnal journal. Get ready. That's going to be the, that's going to be October's theme. But man, I'm not sure that I can. Um, I did see on a couple of junk journal Facebook groups that I'm on, I did see women are already starting to do miniature Halloween junk journals. Because they're like, I just can't wait. And I was like, ooh, maybe I could do a mini one. That would be cool. I think I could do that. Oh, this is so much thinner than what I'm over here trying to work with. Wild. Ooh, and very smelly. Very smelly. So, anyway... The point being, I'm not sure that I can wait for No, I don't want to put that there. I'm not sure that I can wait to uh, to start my nocturnal journal. But maybe I will, just for y'all. Just for y'all, maybe I will. Do it like that there. I'm gonna put that there. Maybe I'll tear it. She says as she can't really do it all that well. Come on, this paper is from 1974. It should tear easier than this. Maybe it shouldn't. You can't see me. This is the problem. I'm trying to work for y'all and for myself. It gets a little difficult. All right. There. Zoop. All right. So, let's see what else is going on. I have a dog that's very whiny. I don't understand why she's whining like that. I kind of like that. Probably need to figure out what's going on. I think she just thinks that there's a lot of chipmunks out there that she's not able to eat and she's very upset about it and she would like to please go outside and eat the chipmunks and no one is listening to her complaints and can she see a manager please because there are chipmunks to be eaten and no one is letting her outside to eat said chipmunks even though that is bad for her. She should not be eating chipmunks. It's okay. My dogs are not fast enough nor smart enough to catch the chipmunks, but I am going to go let her out, so be right back. Okay. She's outside. They seriously will chase chipmunks, and then they'll think that the chipmunk is, you know, in a whatever, a tree stump or whatever, and they will sit there at this one spot where they last saw the chipmunk and I have literally seen the chipmunks run right by their heads. But they're so obsessed with that one last spot where they saw that chipmunk that they don't even realize the chipmunk has totally made them out to be a fool. That chipmunk is like, fools, fools. It's so funny. It is hilarious. And I'm like, y'all, you're just not even, it's not going to happen. You think it's going to happen, but it is not happening. 
so sorry. But y'all are cute, so it's all okay. Uh, everywhere I put this, it's going to cover up that date. So there really is no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just making this master board and then I'm probably, don't, don't quote me on this, but I'm probably going to use this master board in my nocturnal journal in some way. I may spray it with those really cool, um, what's the word? Use your words, Laura, use your words. What is it? I don't know. I can't remember. Distress sprays. Ta-da! We got there. It only took forever. I think I'm going to cover up that mark, postmark there, because it just says August, and then it didn't get stamped. So I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to tear that off. I'm going to tear this off. Ooh, maybe I'll put it this way then. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want. I know. I just don't work fast enough sometimes. And this is part of my problem. And I watch these other folks create. And I'm like, well, this is why you have a bazillion followers. Because y'all are like... Tch, 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 and they've got it all... I think they have all their stuff ready. And see, here's how I operate. La -di -da, -di -da, da 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 I'm doing day chores. I'm doing things. It's just a normal Saturday. La 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 la. Ooh, you know what sounds fun? Let's go make a video and do some art. And then I come up here. And maybe I have an idea on what kind of video I want to make. You know, like I knew I wanted to do a Masterboard video with these stamps for Masterboard Monday. Because I knew that Masterboard Monday videos did really well. So I was like, yeah, 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 I can do that. That's cool. And, but past that, I don't know what I'm doing. When I turn that camera on, no idea what I'm doing. So that's why sometimes it's a little bit of a, I don't want to say it's a hot mess. I don't think I'm a hot mess. I think sometimes it's just kind of a mess. I've been watching a lot of Gail <sighs> Agstinelli. Yes, that is how you say it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of her lately. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Come up. I don't want you that far, actually. I want you closer down here. Gail Agstinelli. Yes. I've been watching um, a lot of her videos. Uh, and I just love her because she is... She's so real. She's just like, and she doesn't edit her videos, which I am, let me tell you, impressed because I edit my videos and ooh, I like that there. Um, but I love that she is super real. She's like, nope, I'm not editing my video. I'm doing this thing and this thing is happening and I'm doing it and... That's just the way the world works right now. And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. I can support this. And sometimes she's just like super funny and outgoing, super sweet. And she's got really cool ideas. My favorite that I watched was she's got this whole playlist of, um, ephemera makes and she goes through the happy mail that she's gotten from people that have made an ephemera and she just you know tries to recreate it I mean she does recreate it she doesn't try she absolutely succeeds and um and I'm like oh that's fun so I think what I might do is watch some videos and then try to recreate what I'm seeing on the videos 
and like maybe that would be a fun series of videos where I'm like okay go watch this video first and then come back and watch me flub it up I mean I don't know that I would flub them all up but you know I would probably get kind of close I don't think I like that stamp Ooh. About this stamp. So I thought about doing that. I guess it'd be kind of like a remix type video, you know what I mean? Let's do oh if I okay, hang on. If I do it that way, mm -mm, I can't do it that way. What if I did it this way though? That way I can do it. Let's do it that way. Yeah, the one thing I'm noticing is that like a lot of other people are not, you know, they're just not taking a ton of time to worry about things. Which, if I'm honest, I can totally get behind that. Because I spend a lot of time worrying about a lot of things. And I feel like I shouldn't. Because it just doesn't matter. You know, you're just out here doing art, man. It is it is not that serious. It is just art. It's all going to be okay. So... That's just what I try to remember. Sometimes that's very difficult. Okay, I gotta move it. So, I'm gonna go ride some horses. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's not smoky for once, because holy, holy smokes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it was very smoky for a while. And it was very annoying to be clear and fair. Hmm. I wonder if this video is going to have a weird video, audio video quality. It's acting a little funky. We'll see. Speaking of videos being funky, I accidentally uploaded, oh my gosh. So I had to clean up my hard drive because I had so many videos. I had three copies. I'm not lying about this. I had three copies of every video that I've ever uploaded. And that's because I had a raw version off of my phone. And then I had the completed version after I edited, that's such, such a hard word to say, edited it after the edit. Um, and then there was also a stored copy for the program I'm using. So the program also stores a, stores a copy of it. So it was really just kind of ridiculous how much, um, space everything was taking up so all of that to say that my hard drive got full and so I went through my videos and I think I wasn't paying attention I was like oh I've already uploaded this video and this video and this video however I got two of my Timu videos mixed up so here's what I did I did not keep the magic of television code because I'm about to tell you a secret. I recorded all of my Timu videos before I went to Montana. I know, shock, shock. It's like when you find out that your teacher is a real human. Um, and, but I was saving them because I was like, 
Well, I don't want to put a Timu video up like literally every single day. Um, that just felt like a lot to me. And so I saved two back and I was like, you know what? I'll upload these as like extras on the weekends after I get back from Montana. And that is a wonderful, fine goal for me to have. The problem became that I did not notice that I had deleted the video I had not uploaded yet. And I had saved the video that I had already posted. I did not realize that I mixed up two of my Timu videos. So I deleted one and I kept the other. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's sometimes it's hard being in my brain. And I posted a video and a lot of y'all were like, um, have I lost my mind or is this not the video from just a few weeks ago? A, you're all paying attention and that's amazing. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so you passed the test, good job. Good job, y'all. And so I freaked out when I woke up and everybody was like, what is this? And I was like, no, y'all, this is, oh no, it's one I've already done. So I had to go solve that problem. Uh, so I did. And then I uploaded the correct one. And then I went and found the other one. It was a whole, it was a whole snafu. But I got it all sol sorted, so. Whew. Saved. The day was saved. I feel like I can just put that there, can't I? So, no, I'm not going to put that there, actually, because I'm going to put that here because I want to put the little single stamps in these open areas that I'm creating. So anyway, I apologize for the test, uh, but some of y'all are hardcore watchers, which is awesome. Um, now I know that you're paying attention. So there we go. Good job. Good job, everyone. Way to do it. Mm. What if I put it there? That might work. This is really cool. I am totally jamming on this whole idea. So, Scarlett, you are... You're the tops. Isn't that, isn't that what you say? I don't know. Does somebody say that? How does the world work? Don't know. No idea. Um, gosh. Ooh, ooh. I love this one. It's from 1984. And the Olympics were happening. I wonder where the Olympics were happening in 1984. I thought, I mean, they're showing this as downhill skiing. I thought it was the Summer Olympics in 84, and I thought that it was L.A., but incorrect, brain, incorrect. Also, I would have been very young, so I'm not even sure why I think I know any of this, but maybe I do. I can't put it there. I'll put it there. Yeah, let's do. Do I want to do it? I don't know. What if I put it here? Yes, that's where I want it. So, what else is going on? Hmm. My husband and I were together for three full weeks. And I know I have a viewer out there who lives separate from her husband. And they've done this for 30 years, she said. So, over 30 years. So, that's awesome. Um, 
my husband does have plans to move. And I knew that that wasn't sitting right. It's all wonky and wacky. Let's try this again. So my husband and I do have plans for him to move into this house um, in a few years. But let me tell you, I am definitely thinking this, this through. I'm just kidding. I mean, kind of. I am... We spent three weeks together and it was fine. I love my husband. He's a wonderful person. But not having my own space that was like just mine where I can do whatever I want and I don't have to worry about anyone messing anything up or asking me a bunch of questions or wanting to go do something different. It was really, it was a lot. And one of those weeks was spent with you know, at someone else's house out of town. So I definitely needed the time to myself because that's what I need. I need time to myself. It is the thing that I know about myself is that I need time to myself. Ooh, I like that. And so... I am very happy to have a moment in time where I can be by myself. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I somehow make this work in there? I think I can. And then I think I might have a small enough stamp to go right there. It's weird, some of this paper does not want to stick down. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, I can't do it that way because then that leaves this weird spot here. but I can do this, so I'll do this. National Children's Dental Health Month? 1986. Um, no. All right, I think I'm out of room for that. So now I just have to put in single stamps like that one. Ooh, somebody wrote across his face. Somebody was not happy. I'm just kidding. That's not what that is. It's just some errant writing. Um, can I put that there? Yes. Little Sinclair Lewis. Whoops. All right, Sinclair says... Yeah, I'm good. I don't need to be there. Okay, Sinclair, we're going to move you, dear. We're going to put you right here, I think. I hope you enjoy being over there instead, because that's what happens when stamps don't want to move. Okay, and then I have some spots where I just need, like, little stamps, kind of like here. Okay, let's see what else I have in the little stamp department. My fingers are just really a lot. All right, Sinclair is going to get a neighbor. Oh, he's so grumpy about this fact. He's really not excited. It's okay. And then... In Sinclair's spot, Rachel Carson is going to go. Maybe. Maybe she'll go in there. 
Do you want to go? She doesn't really want to go in there either, but look, somebody's got to sit here next to Ralph Bunch, and I'm sorry if y'all don't like him, but it is what it is, all right? Oh, I don't want that there. Wow, she really does not want to be there, but this car does, in fact, want to be there. Oh, that's why she didn't want to be there, because there's a lot of paper back here. Hang on. I thought I ripped all of these off. I did not. Okay, I bet you'll stick now. Yes, she's like, yes, I will. Thank you. I just need you to get rid of that. It was the very slight problem you were having. Carrie asked me if I was going to soak these stamps, and I was like, Psh, no, I'm the half-ass crafter. What are you talking about? Soak. Soak these stamps. I thought we were friends. I thought you understood me. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm being facetious and ridiculous. Um, I will admit, when I read that comment, I was like, oh, I could soak these stamps. And then I was like, Girl, you ain't soaking them stamps. Just stop. Don't even pretend, because we all know that you are not going to soak these stamps. Ooh, I want him right there. Come on. I know. It's, there's probably too much. John Dewey, like the Dewey Decimal System guy? That's kind of cool. I'm gonna put you right there, John Dewey. And Franklin Roosevelt. John Dewey and Franklin Roosevelt. Oh yeah. Okay, see, I barely put any down, and they still don't want to stick to that either. Gotta get under there. Okay. I'm gonna turn it again. And the reason I'm turning it is because it makes me have to look at things from a different angle and then I can see spots where I might want to put something like this Lincoln stamp that doesn't want to go down. Ooh, that ink is not water, it's not waterproof or water resistant or whatever. John Harvard there are a lot of dudes on that got stamps, huh? Whole lot of them. Oh, I like this stamp. This one's really cool. I think I'm gonna put it. Hmm. Where? Where are you gonna put it? I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I wanna put it somewhere special. I wanna put it there, but that's the center, and I worry, depending on how I cut this up, it may cut it in half. But you know what? Life is life. We're going for it. And it's all going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And I'm going to be okay. And the whole world is going to be okay. Larry Stamp's coming up. I know, gosh darn it. The stamp is not going to be okay. <sighs> Stay down. Just work with me, okay? I have like a whole little stack of paper over here. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, Thomas Jefferson. Oh, you know what? You can actually go right there. All right. Oh, this one has a to go over there. Oliver Wendell Holmes. He has an impressive moustache. 
which is why he is Oliver Wendell Holmes. I don't know who this guy is. I'm sure he's like president or some famous author or some something of that sort. Um, I think I might just put him right there. Oliver, would you like to go? How about you go right there? Ollie. Can I call you Ollie? It doesn't matter because you've probably been dead like nine bazillion years. You really don't care what we call you. Oh, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. Calm down. Calm down. It's all okay. Oliver has a very prominent place on my master board, so... He's doing all right for himself. Ooh, who's this? Oh, Dorothea Dix. Well, Miss Ms. Dix, would you like to go right here? Because I think you would. We'll see if you'll stick. You might not, because... Yeah, maybe I don't want you there. Maybe I want you, like, here. Here? Yeah. Wow. I'm sure that there is someone super dangerous walking their dog down the street right about now, and uh, my dogs are alerting to don't come in this yard. It works every time. No one's ever come in the yard. So they continue to bark at people. Yeah, I know. I know. Super good. Super good. I'm sure my neighbors love it. They're like, well, we can't walk the dog down that street because those other dogs get all stupid and start hollering. Yes. That is, in fact, what happens. Ooh. You're going to work right there. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this. That's a nice collection. That would have fit great right there, too. Come on. You got to you got to come with me because this should have gone here because it's a whole little collection together. You really can just go right there. Great. Excellent. Wonderful. Good news. Excellent news. I got a lot of Frankie, Frankie Rosie, Franklin Roosevelt. Well, I don't have a lot, but I definitely have at least two. I got a few Eisenhower. I need little places that need, oh yeah, that's a good one. I just need like, small places that need something. All right, where else? So there's an empty spot here. Oh, I don't know how he got. Oh, because I think he was on. He was on crooked. That's why that stamp is crooked. All right. The lunch wagon. Like the beginning of the food carts, huh? Oops. Okay. What else do I have? Louis Munoz Marin. Hmm. Governor of Puerto Rico. Well, that's cool. Where should I? I should put him right there because he'll fit perfectly right there. Okay, that corner. That corner needs something up there. What do I have? <sighs> okay. Well, Ruby has an opinion too, it seems. Well, 
right. I think Ruby might be in heat. So not taking her out for a ride. Also, I think a lot of people are riding horses today and they can see the horse trailers when they come in, when they come down the road to come into the National Forest. Uh, my horses can see those, they, they can see the road. They're right next to the road. So I think when they see a lot of horses coming in, they're like, um, I know that other horsies are out doing things and I want to be out doing things too, please. So, all right, I gotta get on this so that the horsies can go out and do things. As long as she isn't in heat. If she's in heat, she's got to stay here because I can't, can't handle that. That's way above my pay grade right now. They're just very difficult to handle when they're in heat. They get, they just want what they want and they don't want to talk about it. I mean, I'm the same way. No judgment. No judgment. Oh, this is like a postcard. Hmm. I may... I may just... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this one. What else? Oh, there was Mary Lou. Mary Lou who? Lion. Mary Lou Lion. Mm, nope. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What about one from Vermont? That's a big guy. You could put it right there. That would be cool. Let's do that. Just like that. All right, and then I need, all right, we can't use Einstein because Einstein has a lot on here. But I can do, well, that one's kind of down, isn't it? It just sort of was like, I'm going here. That's fine because all your brothers and sisters here kind of didn't want to go down. All right. Wow. That's like somebody's stamp collection threw up onto a master board. That's cool. All right. I do have this corner up here that I want to put something on. But Mary Lyon is too small and that's too small. What's this? Amateur radio. Can the amateur radio fit on here? Yup. It can. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's in heat. She's been doing this all morning. I've been trying to catch her doing it because I'm like, is that my horse? Or is that the neighbor's horse. Uh, definitely my horse. I know this now. All right, I'm going to use this airmail stamp. So, probably need to go out there and talk to her for a little bit. Tell her that she can't go, she can't go prowl around out in the forest for her hunky horse boyfriend. It's, it's not, it can't happen right now. Maybe we can do that later, but not right now. Oh, Frederick Douglass. Oh, I got to put Frederick Douglass on here somewhere. You know what I mean? I'll put him right here. Cause that's sort of an empty spot. Oh, Frederick Douglass. Good job. Good job, Freddie. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Ooh, that's a dollar stamp. Johns Hopkins. 
Yep, he is expensive. His hospital is, at least. I don't know, is that true? I actually don't know, I've never been there. I don't know anything about anything. Oh, I just need you to stick John's. Just need you to stick down. Um, what about that there? Yep, I like that. So what I'm doing now is I'm just filling in these little spots that I didn't really get to. All right. That's awesome. Okay, this is a very long video, uh, but we made the master board and it's master board Monday and here we are. Uh, ooh, I really, I kind of feel like I want to put that there. I kind of feel like it wants to be put there, so we're going to try. There's nothing else really wanted to go there, and this thing's on the back of a dang postcard, so we'll see. If it stays, it stays. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All right, I'm putting things away. I gotta go see what this horse is hollering about. I think she just wants a boyfriend. Um, Nobody tell her how old she is, okay? We're just gonna keep that to ourselves. Okay, we're gonna do stuff with this master board and I have other fun things coming up this week, so stay tuned and bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share and other things. Bye.